Hi everybody, this is Robert here. This is a brief part two to the earlier Kobe exercise. So here we want to look at BIM interoperability tools and we want to decide, say, we want to add parameters to this, which is what's really happened here and what's most important. So if I select, let's say this one here, and then I want to edit this family. So I open this family up and I'm going to just change this setting uh, to fine. And then I want to go here and just make this, uh, or actually, let's just turn this off temporarily high element. Okay, so there's our cable tray. Okay, now what's happening here is we go into our family types. We have no Kobe parameters here. We've just got our standard parameters that we would use here. Okay, now and they'll go back to the schedule. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna go back into my BIM interoperability tools and uh, I'll select family setup here. Now here in the family setup, these are the different categories that it will give us. The different fields we can add. Just like before, we can add fields and take fields away. And then uh, just go select next. And it would just update and close. So the extension is doing this little thing here, is adding those Kobe parameters to this family. And if it's all good, they'll land in the family types dialog box. Now, quite slow here, sorry about that. Maybe I should pause here. Okay, so it changed to that type and everything. So if I go, wait a minute, there should be a message here. Yes, okay. So now that's okay, so we'll go back into our family types. And if we scroll down, we'll see all our Kobe parameters. So this pulled in because of what we did in the other one. Uh, didn't get material over, had to work on that, or you can add parameters here. So I could easily just go in here and say Kobe type material. I'll say, what is this? This is hot dip galvanized. Just going to control C that. We want to work around this for the moment, but I'll, I can map this one in. Control V. Apply. OK. And you can load that into the project, override existing version and its parent of values. It's updating. And then it'll go over into my component schedule, which is somewhere in here. But anyway, um, and another thing here, you want to make sure you're using the Kobe. Uh, fields or Kobe parameters and it'll be Kobe description right here so anyway guys I uh, just wanted to show you this quick little video of how you do Kobe families how you add parameters to the Kobe families thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye